to Antonio Abacete, he sets another fastest lap, a 137.8, so really reveling in these wet conditions. Through goes the second place battle, Jochen Hahn trying to draw alongside Marcus Utrey, the two together as they head for Redgate, but I don't think Hahn is going to be able to pull alongside number four. So Utrey and Hahn run through the corner, absolutely nose to tail, but they stay in second and third. Marcus Bosinger has now established fourth place as his own and allowed David Rusecki and uh, Anthony Janiek to fight for fifth and sixth places on their own. It's Rusecki ahead of Janiek. Latsko comes next in the sequence in seventh. Norman Kish is eighth. Mick Macken at ninth. John Pierre says he's tenth. So Dominic Rusecki has dropped quite a bit down the order. That happened uh, a while ago. He lost the place on lap five and then a couple of places on lap six so Dominic Michel did I think was involved in an incident towards the end of the lap and Michel is now all the way down in 11th position after a, a good day yesterday and a second place finish in the reverse grid race if you're keeping an eye on the Brits the top one of those is still Steve Thomas in 12th position car tw uh, truck 22 I should say Matt Summerfield, the local man from Burton upon Trent, is next in the sequence, about four seconds between Steve and Matt at the moment. But uh, David Jenkins is struggling uh, with a very slow last time, 152.4 last time around. I think he's had some kind of incident at the chicane. He came out of that part of the track uh, about two laps ago, very slow indeed, minus some front left bodywork. Worry the pace of the truck, it's very nearly side by side for second place again as Jochen Hahn tries to break as late as he can. The door's been left open because that's Marcus Usreich's uh, kind of favoured line through Redgate. He goes very wide on the entrance and then swings back tight to the kerb on the exit. And it looks like he's leaving the door open but actually he carries really good momentum through the Redgate corner. One of those corners that you can uh, use several different approaches for ultimately the same effect. Keep it tight on the entrance and run out wide and out onto the curve as you then head for Hollywood or to the opposite, as Marcus is trying to do right now. And leave your turning point very late. There's a black and white driving standards flag being shown to David Jenkins, so it never rains but it pours. He's lost a whole load of places, quite a bit of uh, front fender work, and now he's being shown the driving standards flag. That doesn't mean any penalty immediately, but it is merely a warning to say that the clerk of the course is watching. Uh, the way you drive and also the amount of uh, extra track that you're using effectively because if you start to uh, take your truck beyond the white line and onto the kerb too much or onto the grass too much onto the, the, uh, the gravel too much to kind of shortcut corners effectively that is very much frowned upon by the clerk of the course and therefore if you do that too many times the driving standards flag is shown to your truck if you persist on the cutting corners you will then be no doubt given some kind of penalty usually a drive through penalty which is what we saw Mecca Mackinac issued with yesterday after clouting too many corner markers. He hasn't quite got to that stage with David Jenkins just yet. This is the point on the track where Jochen Hart gets a good run on Marcus Utrecht. They head from the chicane down to Redgate. Can't quite get the overlap this time around. Marcus Bosinger, it's turned into a little bit of a lonely race for him in fourth place. No real chance for him to get a podium result, but equally, I don't think he's going to kiss goodbye to fourth place very quickly because David Brzecki far more concerned with Anthony Janjek, who is right on his tail, and so too Adam Latsko. So that's uh, away from the second and third place fight. That's the closest scrap at the moment, the fifth, sixth and seventh. Brzecki ahead of uh, Janjek and Latsko. And is that Matt Summerfield tumbling down the order? The 21 truck comes through now, but has lost. Uh, only a place, okay. I thought somebody else may be falling down. No, the 14, yes, that might have been, uh, been Jean-Pierre Blaise who has uh, lost a couple of positions as well. As Frankie Wojciechek <laughs> takes a visit <laughs> to pit lane. And Jeremy Robineau hasn't come through yet either. So the 18th truck may have fallen off somewhere. Because Robineau's name is tumbling down the order. There's that fifth place battle working its way through McLean's now and up the hill over the crossing, or what used to be the crossing, and up towards the right-hander at Coppice. It's Frischecki from Janjek from Latsko, so Czech driver from French driver from another Czech driver, and across the line comes Antonio Albacete. 
three-time champion, remember, in the FIA European Truck Racing Championship, and he is showing everyone else how to do it right now, with a lead of 9.1 seconds, and that is with Oostrike and Haar setting personal best lap time, so that's the quickest they've gone in this race, but still can't get anywhere near a 137.8. The only, and Antonio is the only driver easily within the 137, uh, 137.8. The next fastest time is a 139.045, set by Marcus Bosiger in fourth position. But this right and Hart circulating at a fair rate of knots, and they can't break the 139 barrier at the moment. And Albacete on a 37.8. So we're in the company of a uh, fantastic truck racer and it's not only truck that he's turned his attention to he's been in truck racing for uh, many many seasons but uh, started off in single season and done a load of touring car racing as well but clearly enjoys Donington Park and the undulations of this track hasn't just raced trucks here either we reckon he was in the World Touring Car Cup that was held in the late 80s here at Donington Park I look back at that fifth place fight and this time the Bruguera Freightliner of David Brzecki has uh, broken away a little bit from Anthony Janiek. Those two are still very much together, Janiek and Latsko. And almost Latsko bump drafting Janiek up the hill towards... Oh, in fact, there's an overlap there by Latsko and I think he finds he, he fancies a move.